In this video, I'd like to talk more about congruent triangles and specifically the side angle side rule or postulate. And this rule essentially states that if you have two triangles where they share one set of equal sides, we can say AB and DE are equal, another angle that is equal between the two triangles and a second side that's equal on the other side of the angle, let's say BC and FE, that if you have this relationship where you have a side, an angle, and a side, and correspondingly you have that side, that equal angle, and that equal side, then these two triangles are congruent to each other. And we can write that triangle ABC is congruent, this equal sign with a wavy line above it, to triangle DEF. And again, remember that the order in which you write these is important since it corresponds to the side lengths that are equal. So AB and DE, those are written first since they are equal to each other. So if we have this congruence relationship that you have this side angle side, then you know for sure that the two triangles are the same size and the same shape. You don't need to know any other information. You don't need to know about these angles here. You don't need to know about this third side length there. And this relationship can either be stated as a postulate, something that we take by assumption. We just assume that it's true. Or if you look at Euclid's elements, in the original geometry textbook written 2300 years ago, this is one of the first proofs in that book. It is proven from basic principles, and so it is called a theorem there. And it really depends which approach you can take, because it does make some sense to take this as a postulate. It is intuitively true, and we can look at that a little bit further. But I do also want to mention that it is possible to prove this, and therefore this would be a theorem, something that is proven true. But let's look at it from an intuitive approach. So let's say we have some triangle, and let me draw this out, where we are gonna compare it to some other triangle. And in this other triangle, we know that one of the side lengths is equal. We know the angle next to that is equal to this angle here, and we know a second side length that is equal. And this is not gonna be drawn perfectly, but we can get a rough idea. So we know this side and this side are equal. We know that these two sides are equal, and we know that the angle between them are equal. And this side angle side congruence relationship basically states that these two triangles then would have to be equal. If we close this triangle up, it has to be the same length as this third side here. And you can imagine this has to be true. These, if we close this, these two triangles have to be equal. Since there's only one way to connect these two endpoints here, and that's with this side length that must be equal to this side length here. Just like with these two endpoints, there is only one way to connect them together. And so these two triangles must be equal. You can imagine this third side length here as being whatever length you want, but in order for these triangles to close, it has to be a very specific length. And that length that it has to be is the same as the one over here. Since again, you can imagine this third side being any length you want, but to actually make the triangles close, it has to be a very specific length. So hopefully it's clear that if you have this side angle side relationship between two different triangles that they must be congruent. They must be the same size and the same shape. And the angle has to be between the two sets of equal sides. And again, this is because the third side can only be connected in one way at some specific length, and that must be true in both of these triangles. So if we look at an example problem, if we have two triangles 
and we know that they share two sets of equal sides. So these are length five in green and in yellow, they're length seven. And the angle between them is the same angle, then that's enough information to determine that the triangles are congruent. Or in other words, this third side of the triangle in each of these, there's only one way to form this third leg and they have to be the same length.